ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify, and today we are here to counter a glow. Which glow might that be? Why, of course it's the dive bomb glow. And these are going to be the amazing goobers that are going to be helping us to figure out what counters this brand new dive bomb glove. We've got Ivan, Bio, Show, Foxy, Gravity up top in the Nimbus, Epic Destroyer, Kai's, Sabe, and Carl in the back. Shout out to all of them. They are all amazing. Let's get into these counters. Okay, so the only thing we're really looking to counter here is the actual dive itself. There's nothing else that we're really looking to counter on this glove. So we're going to be looking for kind of evasive gloves. That being said, default can be one of them. I don't think this will be a top counter. I just think it will be something that you can use if you don't have any slaps. So if you do plan on using the default glove, this isn't a glove where you can panic use this. And when I say panic, that means you're playing in like third person or you're not paying attention to who's up in the air and you're waiting to catch them out of the corner of your eye and then use the ability to dodge. That's a panic use. And uh, you can't do that with this glove because you have to actually look at where they're going in order to know when you should actually dodge because you need a little bit more time with default fart blast so that you can get out of the range. I'd say probably around like 50-50 because you're not going to be able to dodge the super slams. The next counter on this list are going to be the rock which is Diamond, Custom, and Mega Rock, which are all going to be great options for you. Although, I would probably use either Custom or Mega Rock if I have it, just due to the fact that Diamond does give you a slowdown penalty. So, continuing on from what I was saying in default, this is one of those gloves that you can panic play with. So, you can be at the very last moment before they hit the ground, and you can use this glove to save yourself, as once you're in a rock, you're in a rock. Nothing's going to take you out of that rock. So, yeah, Custom and Mega Rock, easily top tier counters, and you could almost list Diamond as a top counter. It's close, but I don't think it should be there. Next up on the list, the Flash Glove. So, because the flash glove has a slight delay and a pause before it actually teleports you, you can't really panic use this glove, so you're gonna have to use this like default, where you're gonna have to actually pay attention to who is dropping above you. Also with this, if they are actually trying to aim for you with a super slam, I don't think you're gonna be able to flash out of that, which will land flash at a 50-50. You can use the ghost glove, but you have to make sure that when you go into ghost form, if they are trying to chase you, you don't make your movements obvious, and you go into a direction they're not gonna land their slam at, because even in ghost form, you can still be hit, so. Not a direct counter, I'm only going to say that this is a 50-50 counter, but you can avoid being hit by going invisible and going in a different direction. Thanos is one of the three saving gloves, but these could actually be kind of considered low tier counters for this glove, just due to the fact that it's a slam, so it's only relying on the knockback, and this saves you if you fly off the edge to go back into place, so the Thanos Recall and Audios gloves could all be considered low end counters, but definitely saving gloves in this case. Space should work out here. Space has a little bit of time that it takes before it actually launches you up in the air, so I'm not going to say that you can necessarily panic use this, but you can get really close to it. With that being said though, space is definitely a glove that you can use to jump over their hits and not take any of the knockback. The good thing with space too is it has a faster cooldown, so anytime they have their ability, you will have yours as well. So space is like 65%, maybe 70% counter. Speedrun is definitely going to be a top tier counter here. You can't necessarily quote unquote panic use this, but you're so fast with this that it's going to be so hard for them to catch up if you just go in a different direction, you know? It's really hard for them to catch up to your speed. Top counter in my books. Also with this glove, if you see them charge up a powerful hit, run up to them and slap them out of that charge if you're close enough. Golden should work, we just need to check the cooldown here. So this is definitely one of those gloves that you can panic use at the very last second to save yourself, but the problem with it is the cooldown. By the time that they get their ability back, our golden ability isn't even halfway done yet. So I'm gonna say that golden is a 50-50 counter. Next up on the list is Jiki. How well is the knockback reduction? This is gonna be one of the gloves that you can panic use at the very end, but it actually takes zero knockback, which is crazy. It doesn't matter where you hit it, with how much power, with this dive bomb glove as a cheeky you are perfectly safe when you're in this form itself i did not see this taking zero knockback not gonna lie <laughs> so of course i'm gonna say that cheeky is gonna be a top counter here so what happens with the reverse glove we see them dropping from the heavens and we activate the ability just to get blasted off the edge this is gonna be a l for the reverse users chikuchi should be good here because you can grab somebody and go into an animation and you can't get hit out of that animation until it's fully over what i want to see with this though is can you actually grab them out of midair with this all right we got the bogey coming in hot oh, oh my gosh you absolutely can that is amazing <laughs> So this is going to get a top counter because you can panic use this. If you see them at the very last second, just use your ability. Oh, and level. even if you don't hit them, you can go to somebody that might be near. Just spam your ability button and you will land on one of them. <laughs> Ooh, thinking about it, can Woe be effective here? All right, we got our subject dropping on top of us. If we use it now, 
Um, okay, that was... <laughs> we need to redo that, because that ended weirdly. <laughs> but for starters, yeah, if they are charging up their ability, you can woe them out of that ability, but they can go right back into charging up, so it's not that effective, it's just fun to stop them if they are going for a full charge. But this is going to be one of the gloves that you can panic use, and you can, oh my gosh, you can stop their momentum before they hit the ground. It's very time-based, so you have to have good timing, but you can absolutely stop them in their tracks. That's crazy, because you get your cooldown so quick, I think I'm going to say that Woe is going to be a top counter. Adios, like I said earlier, is one of the three saving gloves, which could be considered a low tier counter because you can save yourself if you get flown off the map. I think Balloonie is definitely going to be a top counter here. So I wouldn't say that this is a glove that you can panic use, but as soon as you see one of them launch up in the air, always make sure that you have a couple balloons and then look up to see if they're going to fall down. If they are, just jump over where they're going to land and then drop once their ability is done and you're good to go. You can always avoid a hit from them if you're just keen and aware of the situation that's happening around you. So yeah, definitely getting a top counter from me. The Phantom Glove does work here. It's like a mix of Ghost and Default combined together, one little short ability, but if you're going to use this, you have to make sure that your movements aren't readable by the person that's about to drop on you, or you're going to still get hit, so like 50-50. The Table Flip, Ping Pong, Slicer, and you could even say the Whirlwind Gloves are great for stopping early game charge-ups, but if you don't end up oofing them, there's nothing to protect you if they rain from the sky on you. So these are deterrent gloves, not counters. Just things that you can use to get them while they're in their charge-up form. The Excavator Glove should work out very well here. This is one of the gloves that you can panic use with, so at the very end, right before they hit you, you can go underneath, and then just arise once they're all done, and go right back into fighting. You do get your ability back faster than they do, so this could be considered a gold tier counter. It just doesn't have the offense that I would really want to classify it as a gold tier, you know? So how well does Thor hold up here? This is a glove that you can panic use with at the very end, but... You can use this to go into that animation to avoid being hit, but it doesn't hit them out of midair. It might if you have like immaculate timing, but timing that's going to be so difficult. So I'm only going to say that this is like a 50-50 counter because they can avoid that and then just slap you once you get out of your animation. You do get your ability back faster than they do, which might raise this up to like a 60%, maybe even 75%. I don't know, but I wouldn't say that this is a top counter. The grapple glove should work here. Part of me wants to say that you can panic with this glove if you do hear them getting closer, but at the same time, maybe it might not be as easy so I'm kind of middle ground on this, but yeah, you could definitely avoid getting hit from them by just using the grapple and just going to the opposite side of wherever they're going to land. This is a great glove, and I think it'll be a fantastic top counter as you get the ability back so quick with this, and you can always avoid being hit by them at the very tail end of it if you use it perfectly. Jubated should work here. You can consider this glove a panic glove where you can hit this in the dire moments of when it's about to happen, but if you were to get hit off the edge as a jubated, you go right back to the body that you teleported from, so this is a great counter, and you get your ability back faster, so maybe top counter. Not not too sure yet. If you Guardian Angel your friend, you can of course save them if they fly off the edge, but this will not save the user who is using this. I think the Ferryman or Jump should be effective here. So this wouldn't be a glove that you could panic with because it does take a minute to get up on top of your aura, but you could easily use this to jump out of danger if you know you're about to be targeted. You could use the Ferryman Dash, but at the same time, it, you don't really go that far to where if they use the super on you, you're not avoiding it. So always try to do the or Jump by making sure you know when they get up in the air and it's one of these gloves where you have to pay attention to who is where. If you're good at baiting people out, the blink glove is going to be a good counter here. This isn't a glove you can panic with, but as soon as you see somebody go up in the air, I would use your blink and send your clone walking somewhere. And just make sure you maintain distance from it. Don't get too close to it because if they use a super, you can still be hit by it and you can still be hit by the regular. So just keep your distance from the clone. Even if you have to break it off at the end, do that. Just maintain distance from where they're going to land. <laughs> I don't know about a top counter, but it is a good one. Slapstick can be very useful here. Here. This isn't a glove that you can panic with because skedaddle does take time to charge up But if you watch them go up in the air just start skedaddling and once they start dropping near you send your skedaddle and look You can avoid being hit. It's that easy. You could also hit them from a distance So if they're starting to charge up hit it with the bonk <laughs> So not a top counter, but a good one. What happens with time stop? So when it's used oh, yeah You can stop them in midair So if you're God's hand you can panic and use this to avoid from being hit off the edge and just running to a different side of the map The bad part about God's hand though is that it has any extremely long cooldown, so that's only going to make it like a 50-50 glove. They get their ability back like two times before you get yours back. What happens with the Titan glove? Alright, so if you're a Titan in Titan form and you get hit, what happens? Oh, uh, they're gone. <laughs> you see them fly away? Oh, there goes another one. <laughs> 
<laughs> Alright, so if you get hit, you just fall over. So Titan can be a viable option for you. I wouldn't say top counter, but it is good. Acrobat is going to be like the default. You could use this to evade and dodge to the side. But if it's a supercharged one, I don't think this is going to save you. So like 50-50. You should be perfectly safe while using the phase glove. If you're battling, it doesn't matter if you're paying attention or not. As soon as you see them, if you're zoomed out, just go into this form. You can't be hit. You're perfectly safe. So if you're looking to be safe, phase is definitely going to be a great option for you. Shard is a deterrent glove. If you see them charging up, you can shoot a shard at them. But this will not save you if they go up in the air. So very low and deterrent glove. Charge should work here. While you're fighting, if you do see them up in the air, or even if it's late, you could use this to run away. But if it's a supercharged one, you're going to have to pay attention to them supercharging. Fish is definitely going to be a top counter here. You get your ability back so fast, you don't have to worry about cooldown. So you can just flop around like a fish whenever you might need to. So you're fighting, you're doing your thing, but then all of a sudden you get hit with the super blast. Just fling yourself back. You're good to go. This would definitely be a go-to of mine. What happens if you leash them? Ooh, it seems that you actually fully nerf them. So leash could be good if you can manage to slap them, but it might be hard to actually do that. So I'm going to say that this is 50-50. Flame ring can be effective here, but you have to hit them before they go up. If you slap the user with flame ring and they go up in the air, you can send your flame ring to attack them before they even drop to the ground. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. It does work. I thought it wasn't going to work for a second. So yeah, it does catch up to them and hit them, but Flame Ring is a condition glove. It is the same thing as Detonator. If you can slap them before they go up, Detonator and Flame Ring both will work. Kinetic's Percussive Blast should save you if you time it out right. You have to use this late, so if you get hit here, then use the ability and you can drop down. So you can survive Super Blasts and things of that nature. So because of the faster cooldown and the ability of taking no knockback, I think Kinetic's a great option for you. I wouldn't say a top counter, but I'd say it can be a good one. Recall is the last of the saving gloves if you get hit by the knockback you can use this to fumble yourself right back into the earlier position but this is a low 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 tier counter as well i wouldn't use these i would use something else the counter glove works the same as the kinetic glove this is like a no knockback thing a one-time use but there's so much better than counter for this glove rob works great here we just got to see the cooldowns for this if you're fighting and then you eventually see them coming down on top of you you can go into the rob form to avoid taking any knockback cooldown wise let's see where does it end up Ooh, oh yeah rob works great. This is a very solid option as you get your abilities back at the exact same time. So this will be a top counter. It's actually been a while since Rob was a top counter, right? I'm thinking like three videos? Might be two. I don't know, but that's still long for Rob. <laughs> if you have fast speeds with rhythm, this can definitely work, especially with the yellow shockwave tiles. It's just like, whoa, you can knock them out of their ability, but I would not list this as a top counter. I would definitely use speedrun over rhythm. Rojo has a long enough animation, but we need to test the cooldown with this. So say you're fighting and you're not paying attention, you're just doing whatever, but if you do end up panic seeing them, you Use your ability and you're gonna take absolutely no knockback while you're in this form now we need to see the cooldown they might get it back a little bit before you yes but by the time that they do hit the ground you're back in rojo form so you're fine i might even put it at a top counter because you can panic use it if you're not even paying attention i do believe null catches them not gonna lie if you use it on them before they go up what happens with said minions let's see oh they go up in the air and they do not catch them in time oh wait a minute it did catch them in time oh my god so yeah, the Null Glove is not going to be a top counter. This is going to be like 50-50 around that range because if you don't catch them when they go up in the air, there's nothing you can do. You should be fully safe using the Alchemist Invincible Potion. Just grab yourself some of the Elderwood that you see right there and then go and grab yourself some of the Mushrooms, which is right here. Throw down a Cauldron. Go ahead and grab yourself one Elderwood and two Mushrooms. Click the ladle. Grab yourself the Invincible Potion. Drink that on up. And if they try to land on you, can you guess what is going to happen? I think that you're going to be just A-OK. -okay. Yep, who could have seen that one coming? Another top tier counter for the Alchemist. Whoa, don't know what that was, but very common Alchemist W. Gold tier for sure. Santa's iframes are going to work very well here. If you're just slapping zoomed all the way out, I think you should be able to panic through this pretty well. You could see a shadow kind of coming in, but yeah, if you use your Santa iframes, you could easily avoid that for sure. You could also throw things at distance to stop them. So like if you see them starting to charge up and then you could just throw the Bob plush at them and it will stop their charge up. Can you go into the joust short animation if you time it well to avoid the hit? This is one of the gloves that I think that you can relax play and not really pay attention. But if you see them coming down, 100% seeing the cooldown. Yeah, you win the cooldown battle as well. Joust is a top tier counter. Glovel works if you see them starting their dive bomb. All right, so you're fighting and you see them like even out of the corner of your eye someone go way up in the sky once you see that i would start digging immediately once you're under you can't be affected by this glove you're perfectly fine that's when i would arise back up and then continue to fight and last but not least you could always dive bomb another dive bomb user there are funny moments where you can go like right underneath them that is pretty funny i'll show you real quick wait for them to go up and if you go right underneath them you can have a moment like this <laughs> 
That's one way you can troll another dive bomb user. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for our counters on this glove here. It is a super, super, super powerful glove, but it does come with a lot of counters, which is good. Shout out to everybody that you see on your screen right here. We have Foxy, Cyborg, Gravity, Bio, Sprag, Ivan, and Carl. You are all amazing, and I appreciate you. So which glove was your favorite counter? I think for me, it still definitely has to be Shikuchi. The fact that you can grab them out of midair is hilarious to me. Let me know what yours is, but let me know also which counter surprised you the most. I think for me, I thought Z's was going to actually work, but it doesn't. I don't know if I included that in the video or not. I, I probably didn't, but Z's didn't work and it surprised me because Z's usually works with explosions for some reason. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for our counters. I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever you do end up watching this, and we shall see you in the next one. Later!